Hey everyone, welcome to the Oracle Fusion Cloud Extensibility Series. In this set of tutorials, you will learn how to customize Oracle Fusion applications to fit your company's specific needs using various productivity tools provided by Oracle. Today, we will dive into different configuration tools provided by Oracle to customize our Fusion application. I will highlight the main features of each configuration tool so that you can confidently choose the right tool for your needs. And then you will get to try a few hands-on exercises to experience these configuration tools in action. My name is Siva Khoya, an Oracle Ace and Certified Oracle Fusion Professional. If you are ready, let's get started. Before exploring how to customize Oracle Fusion applications, there is something important to know. As we speak, Oracle is gradually upgrading look and feel of Fusion pages using Redwood. Redwood is Oracle's modern design system. It's responsive and optimized to work on any device. Now, as Redwood transforms Fusion, how do we customize these modern pages? That's where Visual Builder Studio comes in. Visual Builder Studio or VBS is Oracle's low-code platform that lets you edit Redwood pages. We can create new layouts and even build custom modules with ease using Visual Builder. However, many classic pages are still in use and when you need to tailor these pages, that's where Page Composer comes into play. Page Composer is a browser-based tool for tweaking the look and feel of classic Fusion pages. For example, we can hide certain fields on the page or we can adjust the layout of the page. Next up is Application Composer. This tool lets you create custom fields and custom pages in Oracle Fusion but it's not supported for all modules. As Oracle moves towards Redwood pages, keep in mind that custom Redwood pages can only be created using Visual Builder Studio. So Application Composer's role is partly taken by Visual Builder Studio. Now let's check out Structure Work Area. This tool allows you to add or remove pages in the navigator and show or hide tiles on the springboard. Finally, we have got Appearance Work Area tool. This tool is mainly used to change the look and feel of the entire application using available application themes. We can update the existing logo in the application. We can update the background, button styles, what have you. This concludes the introduction of main configuration tools provided in Oracle Fusion. Enough of talking. Let's get our hands dirty with this upcoming hands-on exercise. To access our configuration tools for customizing the Oracle Fusion application, I will choose the navigator and then choose configuration at the bottom. Here you can see some of the configuration tools that we discussed in this episode. We discussed application composer, appearance and structure work areas. We also touched upon customizing Redwood pages. If you ever need to do that, you can launch Visual Builder by clicking here. I will be covering this topic in more detail in one of my upcoming episodes. Let's move on to sandboxes. What are sandboxes? You can think of sandbox as a safe playground just as kids play in the sand without any risk. It allows us to test and experiment with our changes before pushing them to the live Fusion environment. Now that we are looking to update our application logo, let's go ahead and test how it looks within the sandbox environment. I will access existing sandboxes. Here you can view the existing sandboxes where other users are testing their changes. Let's create a new sandbox to test our logo changes. I will go ahead and select create sandbox. First, let's give a name to our sandbox. Then we can choose if we want to apply our changes to live environment or not using this button. 
since I intend to publish my changes to live environment, I will select S here. Let's add some description. As I mentioned in the beginning, each tool serves a specific purpose and we should select the appropriate one based on the task. For our needs, I will select a couple of tools. The appearance tool to update the logo and the structure tool to add a tile to our springboard. After selecting the required tools, I have two options. Either I can just create sandbox or create and enter into sandbox environment to make changes. For now, I will just create sandbox. Here is the sandbox that I just created. In order to make any change, first I need to enter into sandbox environment. In order to enter into my sandbox environment, I just need to click on this right arrow. Once you enter into your sandbox environment, you will see a yellow banner as I am seeing now. That's how you know you are in your sandbox environment. Here you can see the name of my sandbox. Under tools, we have all the tools that we selected. To update logo, I will select appearance tool. The appearance tool allows us to change the overall look and feel of our entire application by applying these different themes. Selecting a theme lets you further customize the layout, background colors, icon shapes and more. In our case, let's keep the default one. Our goal is to update the logo using the option available here. I will go ahead and select update. I will choose an existing logo that's available in my computer. I will click open and click OK. Finally, I will click apply to make the logo update take effect. This just takes a second. There we go. The logo is now updated in my application. And this wraps up our first hands-on activity. Next, I will proceed to the second task where we will add a new application group and a tile to our springboard or landing page. In order to perform this task, I will access structure tool. Here you can see different applications that are displayed on the springboard. We can choose to enable or disable the display of these applications on the navigator or springboard. Let's go ahead and create a new application group. I'll create create group. I will give a name to our application group. I will keep the default option to show my application on navigator. Now I will go ahead and change the default icon and click OK. I will go ahead and select save and close. Now I will move my application a few tabs up using this arrow so it's not shown at the very end. Now let's create a new page entry to add under our application. Let's give a name to our page. I will select an icon, green arrow, click OK. We want to display this page inside our new application group. So let's go ahead and select our group. I want to show this page on the navigator, springboard and link type. I will say static URL. I will paste the URL and I will go ahead and save my changes. You can see the new page displayed under the application we just created. Now let's take a quick look at how it appears on the front end. Here you can see the new group that we created. Here is our new tile. If I click on it, I can access the content behind the tile. Once I am satisfied with the changes, I just click publish in the sandbox to make them live for all users. Until then, I only can see these changes. I'll go ahead and publish my changes. After a few seconds, if I navigate to publish sandboxes, you can see our sandbox. This means our changes are successfully published to all users. Next, I will log out and log in as a regular user to check the changes in the live environment. That's all for today. I hope you learned something new today. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe so you don't miss any interesting content coming your way. Have a great day.